In this video, I'm going to export a 7 minute project file from your MacBook Air equipped with the M1 chipset and from your Windows Intel gaming laptop. The main focus of this video is two things. First, to check whether the MacBook Air M1 is capable of video editing this year. Second, to compare how fast it can export a video editing project from Adobe Premiere Pro versus a Windows laptop with an Intel i7 9th generation chipset. This 7 minute project file contains multiple layers of video footage along with images overlaid with transitions, text effects, color grading, music and sound effects. Essentially everything. This is a 1080p project file. This setup represents an extreme usage scenario. If you are working on simpler projects, you might only need to analyze timings based on your workflow. I also recorded the exact export times on both Mac and Windows with the timer. In Premiere Pro, we have two types of video exporting settings, hardware encoding and software encoding. I'm using software encoding with the same export settings on both laptops. Starting with the MacBook Air, this model comes with the M1 chipset. In terms of RAM and internal storage, it has 8GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD storage. Even though it only has 8GB of RAM, Apple utilizes virtual memory meaning it using internal storage as extended RAM so it can handle multitasking very efficiently. By the way, I have already posted a video on the differences between using a MacBook with and without the charger. You can click on the info cards to check out that video. Now let's discuss the Windows laptop specifications. This laptop comes with an Intel i7 9th generation chipset. It is a gaming laptop that features a dedicated graphic card. However, we are not using it since we are employing software encoding for this project. It has 32 GB of RAM and a total of 1.5 TB of SSD storage of which 500 GB is an NVMe SSD. The Mac finished exporting first at 10 minutes and 49 seconds which is very impressive. On the Windows laptop, I connected the charger and activated the cooler booster to cool down the chipset but it still didn't manage to export the video faster than the MacBook. I also noted the room temperature, it was around 30 degrees Celsius. Finally, after 12 minutes, the Windows laptop exported the project file. Now, here are the answers to the two questions. First, whether the MacBook Air M1 is capable of video editing in this year? The answer is yes. Second, whether it exports video projects faster than a Windows laptop with an Intel i7 chipset? The answer is also yes. Comment below if you are using a MacBook Air M1 this year or if you are experiencing any issues. This might help anyone planning to buy a refurbished product. These are some other related videos about the MacBook Air M1 with various testings. You can click and watch if you are interested. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more reviews on these type of experimental videos. Also click the bell icon next to it to get notifications whenever a new video is uploaded.